I copy people. I copy everybody to go viral on social media. Welcome back to another YouTube video. And today I'm going to be talking about stealing and copying from artists and really just the ethical dilemma that there is. And I'm going to break it down of why good artists actually do copy others. So yes, I do copy people, but there is a twist. I only copy things I like from multiple different artists. The truth is copying is how you're going to grow as an artist. It's how you're going to develop your unique style. It's how you're going to create viral content that still feels authentic. And it's actually how you're going to learn as an artist. In fact, if you're not consuming from other creators, then you're not going to have any inspiration. And therefore, you're not going to be creating anything. You have to copy other artists so you have stuff to produce of your own. Isn't copying just plagiarism? Not really. Let's break it down. The difference between copying and plagiarism is plagiarism is when you just copy a piece specifically from one person and don't change anything. It is just stealing someone else's work and calling it your own. If you copy from many sources, then it becomes research and inspiration. That's how you learn. You can create unique work that is inspired from multiple different artists. The famous fashion designer Virgil Abloh, the founder of the Off-White label and the ex-creative director of Louis Vuitton's menswear, said this one quote, A creative only has to add a 3% tweak to a pre-existing concept to generate something culturally innovative. Whether you agree with that or not, I personally think a bit more than 3% would be appreciated. This idea is widely accepted. Artists cannot create in a vacuum. You need to fill your mind with good work and good ideas, and you're going to get that from other artists. This will then inherently enhance your creativity. So how can we ethically copy and make it our own? There are some pretty clear do's and don'ts when trying to ethically copy someone else's work so you can actually not plagiarize and instead take inspiration. Do not steal specific phrases, bullet points, or scripts. Do not steal weird specific quirks that makes someone unique. If you try and be like someone else, it's just going to come across really fake and just a little weird. Do copy the structure and framework of viral stories and content. Do copy from multiple different sources. I prefer four to six creators, and then I just like take the best elements of each of them and then make my own piece from it. Hey, this is Editing Ethan, and real quick here, I just wanted to thank Motion Array for sponsoring this video. They really allowed me to grow my Instagram the past few months through all of their features and assets for creators. They have stock footage, motion graphic templates, music, sound effects, and even a new voiceover feature. This new voiceover feature allows you to just type in any text you want and then transform it into a really cool sounding AI voice, and it's some of the best sounding AI voices I've ever heard. You can choose different tonalities like a commercial voice. Ready to blast off into another fun-filled adventure? A nice bright voice. Stay connected wherever you go with the ultimate in mobile... A nice dramatic voice. Well, I'll tell you. And everything in between. And if you ever wanted to add some layers to your edit, you have a full library of stock footage and even just presets and motion graphics to use. I personally don't know how to animate or create any of these motion graphics, but it makes it really simple because I just use Motion Array's library, plug it in, drop it into my timeline, and I can continue editing. And it makes my life so much easier when I'm trying to shoot and edit across all of these different platforms. So thank you so much Motion Array for sponsoring this video, and we'll get right back into it. So here's some real life examples of copying done right. Famous artists have copied other famous artists in the past. It's a pretty normal thing to do. It helped them develop their unique styles and ultimately jump-started their career. The Beatles copied American rock and roll when they were just starting out. They were influenced by Elvis Presley, Chuck Berry, Little Richard, and Buddy Holly. Before the Beatles wrote their own iconic hits, they had to copy other artists and even sing covers so they could start portraying and creating music. They had to practice so then they could make their own. They learned the craft, they learned how to play together, and they learned what they liked through copying other artists that came before them. Andy Warhol copied lots of mass media throughout his career. He was influenced by advertisements, commercial art, and just media images. Warhol's iconic works, like the Campbell Soup cans, were directly inspired by consumer culture trends in media. His copying was an essential part of really spinning a play on mainstream media and commercial artwork, and he made it into his own. He made a completely unique sound and style to his work. And lastly, even Vincent van Gogh used other artists to inspire his work. Vincent van Gogh would go on to copy Jean Francis Millet, 
who was a realistic French painter at the time. Van Gogh deeply admired Millet's work and often copied compositions, ideas, and even poses of his subjects. Van Gogh would then take his own stylized painting, artwork, and colors and really turn it into his own. He took inspiration but then still added his own unique flavor, style, and voice onto the artwork. Copying is going to be essential for your growth on social media. The best way you can learn to go viral is by studying pieces that have already gone viral. Content goes viral for a reason and it's not some weird algorithm trick. You need to learn and understand what concepts, frameworks, and techniques other creators are using to get results on social media. You should be thinking about what trends are emerging, styles people are reacting to, and what's making noise on the internet. When you copy ethically, it's like a shortcut to understanding what's going to go viral and what your style is going to be. You're taking proven concepts and then adding your own flavor to them. You're learning from the best and then within time and progress, you're going to adapt and make your own unique style and then eventually people will be copying you and the cycle will repeat. Just make sure you're copying from multiple sources and really thinking about how you can put your own personality and flair in your content. You need to be following frameworks and structures so your content is understood and can go viral. Just like how a story follows a certain script and an article follows a certain structure and an essay has an introductory paragraph, three supporting paragraphs, and then a conclusion, your content needs to do the same. Social media, human nature, psychology, we all need our information delivered in a specific way. And you need to understand how you're going to do that and how your content is going to be understood by the masses. And this really comes from learning new skills through your communication, storytelling, camera work, etc. If your content isn't getting the views and recognition you need, then you need to start learning these new skills. Because at the end of the day, when you build a one-person business or you want to open up your social media business and become a creator, you need to understand all of these different skills and how they work fluently with each other. I started off as a videographer and then I started learning how to write, story tell, and really expand my horizons so now I can create entertaining content with obviously my videography skills as the backbone. It's not just about grabbing attention either. You also have to create your impact and make a message that people understand and resonate with, and then they'll start resharing, following you, and really giving you the support you are looking for. By following a social media framework, your content will become digestible and people will actually understand you. So here's the bottom line. You're gonna copy, create, and iterate. Copying is not only okay, but it's necessary. It is important for you to understand what works and then you can put your own flavor and spin on it. It is the one thing you have to do if you want to grow as a creator. It is essential. That's how you can ultimately create content that's unique, impactful, and resonates with you and still go viral and get the attention you want. No one's gonna get it perfect on their first try, which which is why it's okay to just put it out there and just start this whole process. Over time, your style, voice, and what you like will evolve, and people you follow and copy from will also evolve. This is just all part of the process. It's just how artists grow and learn. And the more you do it and the more you implement, the faster you will grow. It's getting dark right now. This is the last day in Rio, and I wanted to film a YouTube video. Uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe to my newsletter. This is basically what I talk about in my newsletter. I talk about all different types of content, social media strategies, and social media marketing. And if you haven't yet, follow me on Instagram and subscribe to me on YouTube. That's going to be really where I do most of my content and most of my updates. And with that, hopefully you start creating content and you start enjoying the process. Dive in. It is amazing and you will not regret it. Links are going to be in the description so we can connect.